I'm Nick. I'm one of the hosts and content creators of the Base Channel. This is my Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray. Um, yeah, something I picked up from the shop not too long ago, actually. This is um, one of this is my newest bass, and this has very quickly become one of my primaries. If I'm not playing my P bass, I'm playing my Stingray. So I got it at Instrumental Music in Ventura, California very recently. Um, I got it, I don't know, maybe a year ago. Um, I got it used, a gentleman had traded it in, um, and the very first bass I got was a black Squire P bass, but the one I really wanted, um, which I told my dad to, to get me, was a mint green Squire P bass, and I saw it, and I was like, that's the one I want, that's so cool, and I told him, I was like, dude, please give me this bass, and he's like, okay. So he came to visit, and he's like, I got you that bass that you wanted, and he showed it to me, and it was black. And of course, like, I don't want to be disrespectful. He got me an instrument. I was like, thank you very much. But secretly, I was like, oh, man, damn, I really wanted that mint green one. Um, so when this got traded in, this was like the exact color of the one that I wanted originally as a kid. And I was like, I, I, I got to have it. It's, it's got to come home with me. It has uh, an Aguilar brand pickup in it. Um, this is how it was traded in uh, with the Aguilar pickup. To my understanding, it has the same preamp system though, so I'm eventually gonna take that preamp system out and put the Aguilar preamp system in. Um, interestingly enough, the guy who traded this in had two of these, same color, both with maple neck and maple fingerboard, just like this one. Uh, same year, same condition, everything, but one had the Aguilar pickup and one did not. Um, so I got to play them both, and this one actually uh, definitely sounded better. Uh, overall so eventually I'll change the preamp system and I want to put a drop tuner like I have on my P bass just because I use that tremendously so that'll be the next mod. It's got a nice big sound with the with the three band EQ um, so I can add a little bit more low end or I can make it a little bit brighter it's a very funky bass. The Stingrays with the way I have it, I kind of set it like um, like Gail Ann Dorsey does. Um, so she like closes the treble and opens the bass like all the way up on her three band EQ and that's pretty much how I use it more or less for most situations. Um, and it's a super funky bass. Um, I can get a lot of kind of P bass style sounds out of a big warm round sounds. But if I dig in, I can get it to kind of like burp and open up and, and, and click a little bit. So it's a, it's a very versatile bass that I, I like a lot.